Hello everyone, I'm Wade. I'm sure that we can all agree that COVID-19 and pandemic will go down in history as some of the most used and most unforgettable words of 2020. Our society, economy, medical facilities, mass transportation systems, nearly everything in our daily lives has been affected by this disease. While we are still fortunate enough to gather and travel locally in Taiwan with minimum cases of casualty, Time Magazine defines 2020 as the year that claims lives. 2020 has not been a kind year. It's been a year that preyed on the weak and the sick, a year that claimed lives and tested trust, a year filled with division and upended by chaos. 2020 was a year filled with division. In the United States, Racial disputes caused many major division throughout the year. The Black Lives Matter movement, which gained momentum after the death of George Floyd in May, was a prominent example. Another would be the controversy over the results of the presidential election in November. While in Taiwan, the major debate has been in regards to importing meat from the United States. The opposition party believes this to be harmful to the Taiwanese locals. However, the ruling party argues that it is the best interest of the people and says that the government will do its best to protect its citizens. Every imported piece of pork containing ractopamine should be labeled clearly. If one third of such meat is made into sausage, another third consumed by hot pot, and the last third turned into pork meatballs, each portion must be verified and stated clearly. They should be understandably marked as made with rack pigs or contains ractopamine in order to allow the consumers to make the final choice for themselves. The key word in this dispute is ractopamine. Any pork meat containing it will be called rack pigs. The local opposition party argues that the government should not voluntarily allow the importation of rack meat from the United States in order to be in good standing on foreign affairs and national defense with the Americans, especially during a change in presidential administration. But senior journalist, the president of Wealth magazine, Xie Jinghe, believes that COVID-19 and the trade war waged by Trump has changed the attitude of Americans towards China completely. The Biden administration, as a result, will have to support Taiwan, be it by choice or obligation. Even though Trump has stepped down as president, during his presidency, he has made known his attitude towards China. This leaves little room for Biden to negotiate with China. As a result, he may not be as aggressive with his approach, since it would be hard to evade structures that Trump had already put in place. With Biden just taking office, this hypothesis would have to be true until proven otherwise. On the local front, this is good news, as it allows for the ruling party to pay more attention on domestic problems. In Congress, the vice president of legislative Yuan, Tsai Ji Tang, agrees with the policy of the executive Yuan, that the injustice of the housing market has to be guided with the administrative power to be more responsible and acceptable. I believe that next year, one of our number one priorities as a country and towards our people will be to address the excessive real estate surge. This is a huge obstacle for our young adults and lower class citizens, but particularly the young adults. The government should take into account that the excessive surge in real estate actually negatively impacts our society. Many real estate agents agree because once the properties become overpriced, it becomes hard to sell. Therefore, the government should pay attention to maintaining the stability of the housing market. As a matter of fact, 2020 was the year that Taiwan, the Republic of China, proved itself to be one of the best countries in the world, while also finally receiving acknowledgement of its existence and importance at the same time. Therefore, we trust that Taiwan will have a better outlook this year. Xie Jinghe believes that the unprecedented prosperity in 2020 will continue into 2021.
从一月二十三号武汉封城到今天。From the lockdown of Wuhan on January 23, 2020, until now, we have been entrapped the entire year by the pandemic. However, Taiwan's economy took a turn for the better during this time. We hope to carry the same momentum into this new year, especially now that the world is better informed and prepared to combat COVID-19. Under these circumstances, we trust that the stock markets will perform better. 2021 is the year of the ox. This should make for a strong and prosperous new year ahead. As to our situation against COVID-19, the Director General of the CDC is of the opinion that we can stand strong as good as we did last year. Although locally we don't have any vaccines yet, those who have been vaccinated overseas are also still uncertain of the real effect it has against the original and new variants of COVID-19. However, we remain positive and hopeful. In the meanwhile, we can observe the effect of the vaccine. Once we know it's safe and okay, I believe our citizens will also be more at peace. Even though we wish to obtain the vaccine ourselves, it may be wiser for us to first learn from others in the meantime. Other than these hot topics, the president of Yuan Liu, Wang Rongwen, found that the intellectual property industry of Taiwan will also continue growing this year because we have powerful creativity in the academics. And literature writing markets. In the English market, for example, Britain has only 60 to 70 million people. Yet its writers who produce epics such as Harry Potter or good academic literature allows for these prints to simultaneously be created for an American, South African, and Australian edition. This reaches billions of people and becomes a foundation within the English sphere. With ideas and stories truly worth spreading, it may even reach the Asian markets, which would see it being translated into Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. Thus, we can see the importance and need to cultivate our academic and literary creativity. The outlook of the global economy for 2021 is looking to be as good as that of Taiwan's in 2020. With the help of the United States, Taiwan is no longer an international orphan, but we are a country that is strong enough to defend its freedom and stand up for the democratic world. Do you know what outlook means? Ruby, can you tell us? Definitely. The word outlook actually has several meanings. First, it can be used when you're describing an idea about what a situation will be like in the future. You can be talking about a job, the economy, or a country's development. So, can I say the outlook of a job looks promising? Yes, that will mean the career mention is projected to have a bright future. Another widely used meaning of the word outlook is someone's general attitude towards things. If you meet someone that has the same take on things as you, for example, the purpose of living, you can say we share the same outlook on life. So that's like me and my best friend. Yes, that's how we usually connect and make friends. So can I also say that my best friend and I share the same perspective on life? Yep, that's a synonym. And other synonyms also include prospects, look out, viewpoint, and so on. I see. Well, thank you, Ruby. I trust that you have a better understanding and how to use the word outlook. I'm Wade. I'm Ruby. I hope this episode of Knowledge was insightful and you learned some more English. Join us at the Fun Day website to watch more. See you next time. Thank、you